Hi, you have connected an Xbox 360 controller. Here are some basic controls. Fuck that! Hey guys, Sparks Clash here, and welcome back to another Clash of Lords video. Uh, today for you guys, we've got a kind of, uh, just a little catch-up episode. Um, I'm sorry for not uploading, uh, in like, what, I don't know, three days? Uh, like I said, I'm doing that activities week that I was saying last time, but, uh, yeah, that's over now. Uh, we did tree surfing, creely, paintballing, roadford lake and laser tag. It was a pretty fun week. Um, so yeah, we're back in uh, Clash of Lords 2 uh, uh, baby base. And I'd just like to show you guys, uh, I don't think some of you guys are like taking, I don't know, taking me seriously. I think people think that I'm like a noob at this game and stuff. Anyway, I just want to show you my, um, thanks guild members, uh, my actual main account that I can't record. Uh, I'm in continent uh, 41. Uh, but da, 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 da. I'm like rank. I'm not being pushing for trophies in my main account, so I'm down in the 150s somewhere. There I am. So this is my main account. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So um, I know some of you guys haven't seen my main account before, but uh, there you go. Just saying, I'm not a complete noob at this game. I am pretty high leveled not that good but uh anyway we're gonna be taking a look at my heroes on my main account so uh my main hero is pounder a uh, very good tank want to have pounder on your team uh, i do have divine blood gap one on him <clears throat> which is very good uh, i just need to upgrade his mercenaries uh one more time uh so i can get this level two upgrade uh which will be very awesome uh he's got a level 10 skill and his aids are um, a level 97 Savage Sheaf and a um, Pangoli. Very important you have those Pangolis, those level 3 um, or higher skills. Uh, I'm not too worried about the top hero, that's just if he has, like, if he's high level to uh, give more health to Pounder, that's fine. Uh, second tank is Abyss Demon. Very awesome hero, very rare as well. I don't see many people using Abyss Demon uh, on YouTube, uh, but he's up to Fortitude Leech. Uh, his power is not that good, in my opinion. Uh, his aids are Hydrosaur, level 86, and his uh, Pangoli, obviously, <clears throat> which is the most important aid in the game. Uh, then my three kind of like. Um, follow-up heroes, people who, the, um, heroes that attack, are uh, protected by the tanks, uh, who do the damage, uh, I have Pangoli, uh, level 120, uh, pretty much, <laughs> uh, he's got Fortitude Area for the Sniper Towers, and he's got a level 60 Chiron, with level 4 Barb Plate, and a level 61 Pangoli, uh, level 3, uh, I'm pretty sure my Renny Ven, which is my next hero, very rare as well, uh, also has a Chiron, yep, level 4. <clears throat> Sorry, I went through that a bit quickly. She also has the um, Victory Statue Enhancement, and level 9, Sharpshooters 21, haha, <laughs> no jokes please. Uh, and then Chiron, obviously, very important hero. I've got three Chirons in my past game. Uh, I've got the Fortitude Fire Shadow, and he's got Pangolian and a Saffrix. I do have Saffrix! Uh, yeah, believe it or not, but I don't know what to do with him. I know it's very good in Battle Royale, but um, I'm not very good with air heroes. I haven't used them like at all. But we do have a Saffrix. Uh, please let me know in the comments uh, if you think I should upgrade Saffrix and stuff like that, because I'm I'm, I'm heard he's a pretty good hero. Uh, so let's take a look at my base. I I'm, I'm Town Hall 10. I I know most people are rushing so they can upgrade their hero halls all up to level 17 to get the third hero aid, but I'm not going to worry about that on my main account. Uh, I know it would be very beneficial, but I'm not going to worry about it for now. Uh, I've got level 3 Reapers, and always try and get those victory statues upgraded. This victory statue will be level 9, which means it will have that gold crest kind of thing uh, here and here, uh, which will be awesome. I'm going to get this one uh, soon to have enough gold. It's very expensive. And my Emma guards are all level 2. 2 and 1, I think. Uh, I didn't actually worry about these because they're very expensive and they don't actually do that much damage. So, I've got this level 6 one which is for a, um, for this kind of the bubble thing. Um, oh, sorry about that. Let me go find, um, sparks again. Yeah, so, um, 
yeah, for those little uh, fairy bubbles things, uh, I had to upgrade my MR gold to level 6, which I did. Uh, also, that's why there's a random level 18 cannon here. I had to upgrade that um, also uh, for a fairy achievement. And uh, there are others are level 16, I think. They are upgrading very nicely. But obviously, I'm working on my two victory statues for now. Uh, I've got... I know this is kind of weird. Like, I've got gold walls and... Like, got level 6 walls, level 7 walls. I've also got a level 11 wall and some level 8 walls. Uh, it's just because I kind of wanted to see what a max wall for my level would cost. And how it looked. So, I just got one of them. I'm going to try and make these all gold walls. But for now, um, I'm working on my victory statues, like I said. The hero walls are all level 5, which means they're red. And they have the um, hero aids... Uh, I've got this random magic tower at level 12, again, for a fairy achievement. Uh, and then I've got level 10 mortar, level 10 mortar, level 10 mortar. Very important to get those mortars up, especially if I got this uh, pounder, his um, kind of, what's it called? Fortitude power, uh, the enhance of the mortar. Very important to level up those buildings. Uh, my other magic towers are level 5 and 6, I'm pretty sure. Uh, no, it looks like they're all level 5. <laughs> but, um... My sniper towers, I've been working on them recently. They're all level 13. Uh, obviously, you've got to be careful of these when you are... Uh, got the Pangoli... Um, oh, what's it called? I don't know what this one's called. Fortitude Area, yeah. Uh, you always got to upgrade your sniper towers. Uh, cannons are level 16, like I said. Air defenses haven't been worrying about. I don't think any YouTuber or any Clash of Lords people do your air defenses first. Uh, but we have a level 8 air defense, again, for a fairy achievement. And the others are all level 6 and 7. I'm pretty sure 6 and 7. 6. 6, 6, yeah. Okay. Oh, devil. devil. Um, anyway, um, then I've got the guild hall, obviously. The, the ancient relic at level 4 and the arena. I'm very good at the arena. Uh, well, at least I was until I upgraded this pounder to level 130. I'm getting a lot harder opponents. Uh, but anyway, my gold vaults are all level 11, obviously, I've got four of them. And, um, gold mines are all level 11 as well, looking absolutely amazing. Forging block, uh, yeah, I, this doesn't work, yeah. Uh, let's take a look at my base design. Uh, basically, it's designed to, um, basically keep out attackers from all different sides. It's all pretty evenly spread out. So, um, they attack from the top, they've got pounder to worry about first, uh, and also... It's kind of the weaker defense at the top and bottom, but they, if they attack from the top, you should probably attack from the bottom if you're watching this and you come across me. Attack from the bottom if you want. Uh, but attacking from the top is where most people will go because my Pangolia is right there. Uh, this is basically lure them in uh, to my victory statues, and everyone wants to take out Pangolia first. Um, so Pangolia's there, so attack from the top uh, if you want to take out him. <clears throat> and then over here, uh, this is kind of a weaker side, but you still got these very dangerous victory statues right here, ready to annihilate anything that comes close. So you need to be careful of them, especially in Guild Clash. Uh, bottom, probably an easiest way to attack, but you still got to worry about this Pangoli using his level 10 Ragnarokka right on you with his level 22 wizards. Haha. <laughs> uh, so, and then from these two sides, you've just got the victory statues guarding, <clears throat> guarding from this side. Uh, when you get into this inner layer, you've got all sorts of defences, which is designed to make sure that my, uh, your pounder or your tanks, like a savage sheaf or a pounder that go for the def defences first, uh, just go around in a big circle before going into the middle. Uh, this does, however, mean that some of these heroes, like Renny Venge, Iron, Pangoli, who can shoot over walls, uh, basically just move in, take out the victory statues, but then they usually follow around pounder take out like this but not getting to that town hall the reason there is a gap here because it stops certain troops from getting too far away they have to come closer which they can get attacked by mortar and kind of stuff like that um <clears throat> so yeah that's pretty much my uh main account base but let's go back to the baby account yay looks like we're higher let's just hire that uh on the free hires today i rolled a hercules which is the best purple hero in my opinion uh not in my opinion uh According to this Seymour thing, uh, Hercules is the best, followed by Shining Wizard. Shining Wizard is definitely my favourite purple hero. But um, I'm going to be levelling up Hercules, uh, probably as my fifth person on my main team until I get another epic. But Hercules can also be a great hero aid. His aid skill is actually not too bad. I think it, yeah, the Executioner Missionaries, basically we get, you can get five extra uh, Executioners, which would be good for my, my Dark Rider movie. 
Now I'm actually wondering what is my Dark Riders hero aid? Um Ox Riders. Oh we'll, we'll change you right away then. There you go. <clears throat> uh I'm thinking maybe what we should do is because I've put on uh, my air defenses and my mortars, the ones that take ages to upgrade. I've been putting them off off camera, uh just to do that. My gold vaults are all level nine now as well. So, um yeah. I don't know why, but this glitch happens. Basically, uh it says my prizes aren't ready yet, but there's no like time or no collecting. My prizes are actually ready. So if you do uh quit the game and go back to Clash of Lords. Uh, we just load up this again. Yes, I am using blue stacks. How many times? Uh, I like the loading screen, by the way. By the way, but um, anyway, when you come back, as you can see, it is all ready for you to collect again. So if that does happen, just quickly reload the game. I actually you really need to fix this really quick. So make sure you like this video so this gets more popular. So I actually you can see it and fix this glitch. But I don't know if that's been happening to you. But there you go. Now we can collect that. Uh, now these walls can go to level five, which is gonna suck. That's gonna be very expensive if it's. 50,000 do one wall, <laughs> yeah. Um, I would be, like, buying stuff on this episode, but I don't have any free builders, but uh, I need a 1,000 for the next one. I am actually going to do a little bit of my lucky spin for today. Uh, I'm not going to be hiring, but you do get this lucky spin after you get um, you hire a certain amount, and you can actually spend jewels and get free uh, fin spins, fins, uh, and basically get lots of rings. Uh, it doesn't look like we're going to have enough, but we are if we were able to do Battle Royale, which we're not, because we're still in a main, uh, little guild. I'm really trying. I don't know why, but I can't get into T. Mizzle's uh, free-to-play uh, guild. Like he's he's uh, T. Mizzle's got a new free-to-play account, just like me. Uh <clears throat> on his channel and obviously he's getting a lot more popularity than me because he's a lot better and bigger but anyway um i can't join his guild he's got a guild but uh i can't join it because it's full which really sucks because uh, i'm sure me and Timmy's will be awesome working together in our guild um and doing guild clash would be amazing <laughs> i think i can do it now as well yeah so yeah that'd be awesome but i can't get into Timmy's mizzle's guild which sucks but oh well, maybe a uh, slot will come available later. Uh, let's go ahead and do a resource raid and see if we can get enough gold so we can get those 50 jewels and do our next thing. Uh, lucky you, you've got Safric and a Gyron, you lucky boy. Um, Jeez, some of these bases are looking a lot harder than usual. Um, you know what, let's just put them down right here. And hopefully some of them go for this victory statue before they melt through Arctic Lord. Looks like they melted through Arctic Lord. <laughs> oh well. I'm pretty sure our Hydrosaur and uh, Blitz Bomber are okay. Well, alright. Um, heal up, please. <laughs> Shit. Uh, well, this didn't go well. I'm pretty sure we can still get at least a decent amount of loot. Yeah, we've got a ton of dragons left, and this level 1 air defense ain't gonna do shit, so. I'm just gonna heal up. Is this. Seriously? Mate, look at this dragon about to absolutely destroy you. Get wrecked. Oh my god, they blew him away. <laughs> uh, so this was kind of a fail, but we're still going to get all the loot and all the rewards here. So we're just going to keep healing up. Oh shit, I just saw you, dickhead. Why are you dying? Oh god. Oh shit. What a shit raid. Oh well, we're still getting a bit of gold. Oh my god, are you seriously doing this glitch again? Piss off. Alright, fuck it, I don't care. We won at least, and we get our shock trooper. Oh, god. Things I do for this game. Uh, let's just give it to my new Hercules. Why not? I'll level him up for a bit. We've got a few new things to buy in the shop while we're here. We can buy, buy our walls, because they don't require um, builders. Which is pretty sick. Uh, let's just build as many as we can with the gold that we have. There we go. All these level 1 walls waiting to be upgraded to level 2. And to level 3. Uh, now we're out of gold. Shit. Um, I can buy, build another gold mine and I'm pretty sure a new cannon, sniper tower and a magic tower. Wait, what else? Oh yeah, and the victory statue that's at the back there. I'll do that in a minute. Not in a minute. Uh, next episode. <clears throat> what else to do? Um, I guess I could. Oh, shit, I gotta wait for these Arctic Lord to revive. It takes absolutely ages. Ugh. 
Um, let's go ahead and see if we've got any season rewards yet. Doesn't look like it. I'm actually ranked... What? Jesus. Ranked a lot far down. 6.37k. Jesus Christ. Uh, let's see if there's anything we can just get here. Mm. Oh, I want to do that. Hang on. Where's our arena? Yes. Let's get those 50 mutagens before this runs out. Sale. 5,190 experience. I bet we're not going to be able to beat him, though. Yep. Haha. <laughs> Yeah, Arena is completely harsh on you when you're this, um, new to the game. Like, seriously, am I going to be able to beat these opponents? No, I'm not. That's why I'm just quickly doing this, surrendering, and getting my, um, mutagen chances. Uh, but, you know, who cares, right? <clears throat> not going to be able to beat any of these people. I don't know if that's counting. I'm pretty sure it is. But if you can't beat anyone in Arena, just do that and get your, um, Mutagen things until July the twenty fifth. I've got plenty of time. Uh, I want to really, I really want to um do the higher ten times heroes three times to get that free epic. Really like that. Um, level thirty. So still got a bit of lev level leveling up to do. Let's go and do a little bit of this because this gives you a lot of XP and that will help us in leveling up. I really need to upgrade my dark rider. I know. Uh, he's dying pretty quickly. Uh, even at such a low level. Uh. You wouldn't think he'd die that quickly, but really he does. He is Dark Rider after all. But there we go. Easy win as usual. We can just farm these up if we want, because these are absolutely easy. Stop on the shop. Alright. I'm just going to do a few of these um, quick things. Easy to take out. And then we should probably end off the episode soon. It's been long enough. Um, I think on Saturday, I might do a Clash of Clans beta review episode. Um, not too sure. I, d I don't actually know if anyone's liking the Clash of Clans videos, because I don't get many likes on them. Uh, I actually get more on the uh, Clash of Lords video. And to be honest, I actually enjoy making the Clash of Lords videos uh, more than the Clash of Clans videos. But I feel like I'm better at Clash of Clans uh, recording than this. But, you know, you guys tell me what I think. I don't get much, <laughs> like, attention on YouTube. You know, I'm only, I've only got 32 subs, so... 38 subs, sorry. I do appreciate you guys subscribing to me. It's very, very helpful. <laughs> yeah, thanks again. Oh, look. There we go. Lots of XP there. <clears throat> Siege 4. Another easy win. I can't believe like people find these hard. Like, seriously. I don't know how much... Why is it doing so much damage to Dark Rider? literally does so much he's so weak look at all these builders huts five builders huts do you really need them at level what 24 um there we go two mugs that's nice let's just do this last uh one and then we'll head and then we'll just go do some resource raids and do our last lucky spin you can actually go up to 400 but i'll do that off camera or i might just do it uh, next at the start of next episode uh, hopefully we can beat this without too much trouble. Arctic Lord just wrecking everything as usual. His skill being this high leveled is absolutely overpowered. Great idea in my opinion to just get his skill up as much as you can. There we go. Alright. Oh Jesus Christ. Um, two more mugs there. Let's go ahead and claim this and then spend our mugs. Uh, I only, only ever um, spend them on rings. Much more important than souls. 50 rings, thank you so much. 20. 20. What, what do these say? So, 20 says not bad. Not bad again, probably. Uh, he didn't show me. I didn't read what it was for 50, but oh well. Uh, let's go ahead and do a resource raid. See if we can find some more gold. So we can get that little achievement. And then get those 50 jewels. Jesus Christ, where is all the loot at? What is with these scattered bases? What the fuck is this shit? <laughs> oh, there we go. There's no loot. Come on. Jeez, that's a lot of nothing. 45,000 all up here. Let's see if we can do it without attracting all the friggin' heroes. Oh, he placed Dark Rider down first. That means he's gonna die. Right, okay, we're getting all the gold. Oh, come on, just take out that blitz bomb. Oh my god, obliteration of the blitz bomber. Absolutely wrecked. 
All right, let's just end the battle here. Let's go get the win. There we go. End that. Get that free chest with the dead iron. Go for another raid before we lose our Dark Rider. Uh, try and get a bit more gold and get those 50 jewels. Oh, yeah, also, what is with these elements thing? There is so many people that I've seen with elements after their name, like Iranth Elements, there's been Amy Elements, there's been so many elements, like, you see them all the time. Oh, my God, Renny Venn, you lucky little shit. There's so many elements around. It sounds so weird, but there's legit loads. I guarantee if you look back on some of my old videos, you should do that, by the way. There'll be absolute ton of elements who I've battled before. Jesus Christ. Um, we're not finding anything at the moment. Seriously, come on, Clash of Lords. Just just give me some bases, please. What What is with this? I don't even know. Let's just attack you. The damage we do to these bases with the Arctic Lord skill is just absolutely ridiculous. Just take all this loot. Oh, come on. Seriously, damn headhunter, what are you doing? These dragons are going to absolutely demolish this mechanoid over here. I oh, don't kill Dark Rider, you dickhead. There we go. You can just take this three star and get those uh, get that XP egg. Why not? It's not we're not it's not like we're gonna kill any any of our heroes. What? Arctic Lord, what are you doing? <laughs> He's just still spinning over there in the background. I wish I could zoom in on that. Ah, oh, finally we got it. Alright. Let's claim that. Claim that. Claim, 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 disclaimer, not disclaimer, there we go, level 17, I'm using whatever that was. Um, let's do our third lucky spin, let's see if we can get times 10. Okay, at least it wasn't a times 1, this is like the shittest lucky spin I've ever done. And we get a treasure hunt, yes! Alright, let's get a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I'm super pumped, can we get a 5, can we do it? No, you dickhead, it was 6. There's, like, nothing good I can get from this. Mutagen, yes, I'll take that, though. Yes. Damn straight, wanted that. Mutagen for the win. Mutagen is amazing. Guys, seriously, I can't say anything better. Get Mutagen. Jesus Christ, it's so good. Mutagen is amazing. Can I evolve Arctic Lord yet? I really want to get that Ares. Uh, I need to be level 30, and he can be level 50, but then I can get it easy peasy. Pretty much him getting to level 50 is going to be the easiest part. Getting to level 30 shouldn't take long either. Alright, we're just going to finish off with this raid and I'll just sign out. So, um, thanks for watching this episode, guys. I really did hope you enjoy it. Um, yeah, if you did enjoy it, please leave a like on the video. I really, I really appreciate it because leaving a like just shows me that you like the video, obviously. And it just, it just, it just feels good, okay? Calm down. Um, so yeah, please like the video and subscribe if you want more Clash of Lords 2 and Clash of Clans can, uh, content coming out on a daily, regular basis uh, on a young, growing YouTube channel that would love to be bigger. So yeah, uh, make sure to f uh, subscribe to all the people down below in the description because they are awesome, better than me, awesome, awesome, awesome. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching guys. Uh, yeah, what else to say, but this has been Sparks 2, official Sparks, Sparks Clash, Sparks, so many names I have, like, not even kidding. So yeah, make sure to like, subscribe, and peace!